The video you are watching now is related to the construction of a solar turbine that I hope will be used in the future. In this video, the turbine is made in a reverse way and instead of rotating the turbine, the steam tank starts rotating. If the used equipment is not of good quality, I apologize to you. I appreciate that you will be with me until the end of the video. Your comments are extremely important. Write your comments with respect. Ebrahim Hashemi Hello to all of you dear ones, welcome to the Fixed Focus program. I hope you are satisfied with the videos published in this program. In the previous video, we used Heron's steam ball in the Fixed Focus system. You can see its rotation in this short video. In the previous video, we removed the spiral oil pipe from the solar focus area so that we could install the steam production tank there. In the video you see, it was done this way. In Heron Steam Ball, the rotation is not very powerful and there will be a great waste of energy. And it is more like a toy. Today we want to convert this steam energy into a reverse turbine. In this case, you can really count on its rotation power. And it can rotate a generator. Of course, this depends on the accuracy of the work and the tools used. This is the same tank as before, which I painted black to absorb light better. I tried to make it balanced, but because welding has been done in different places, I think its balance condition has worsened. The pipe that is on top of this tank and where the water enters it is located approximately 5 cm inside the tank. And this is because the water in the tank does not spread from the pipe to the steam nozzle during rotation. You can see in the figure. At the bottom there are two bearings that the tank rotates easily. Today, I want to use special vanes and vice versa of steam turbine and place it outside the rotating part and in front of steam nozzle. In fact, if the steam coming out of the nozzle hits an obstacle, the power of its rotation will increase several times. And this barrier should be in such a way as to cause maximum power. I have used 8 blades for this work, the number of which is very small and it is only for the purpose of preparing this video. In the figure, you see the blades of a single-stage turbine. You can see the types of blades used in the turbine in this picture. I made an iron ring on which I have welded 8 spokes at the right distance. Of course, it is not interesting at all, but it shows you the idea of doing this. I will bring the camera closer so you can see it better. The reflected light from the dish is disturbing and I changed the location of the solar dish. You can see that there are 8 blades with almost the same distance on a circular iron wire. These feathers are very light and create a slight shadow on the surface of the solar dish. The more accurate the work and we can reduce the distance between the steam nozzle and the vanes, the greater the power of rotation. And this work requires a skilled specialist with his own tools. Well, let's go to install the steam production tank. Now I want to install this repository. I have two metal pipe clamps. Thank you. 
I will put the tank inside the tube like this. And I tighten the pipe clamps with a screwdriver. The tank must be placed in the correct place. The steam outlet nozzle must not touch the veins. While welding the veins, I tried to make the angle between the dot steam nozzle and the veins between 20 and 25 degrees. There is no collision now. And the tank is getting hot. Well, now I have to pour water into the tank. Now I prepared a liter of distilled water and pour it into the tank. It is not very important to fill the tank with water because the excess water comes out of the steam nozzle. Now I close this pressure pipe cap on the pipe. And I secure it with a lock pliers. Now we allow the tank to heat up well and the water to boil. Now 25 minutes have passed since the time of filling the tank. And you can see that we have a lot of vibration due to the lack of balance. The sound of the steam coming out of the nozzle hitting the blades can be easily heard. It is now 30 minutes since the tank rotation started. And the duration of rotation depends on the hole of the steam nozzle and the amount of water and heat reaching the focus. The larger the solar dish is, the higher the steam pressure will be and the rotation will be more powerful, of course, the number of blades should also be large. If we use distilled water and a steel tank with a black cover, we can use it many times. It is also possible to choose a much larger tank, of course, according to the size of the solar dish. This method is applicable only in a system whose focus is fixed and vertical, and it is not possible in ordinary solar dishes because the focus is placed horizontally by the solar dish. You might think that the rotation of the water in the tank will cause vibration, but if the rotation speed remains constant, this effect will be very little. Now I want to measure the pressure inside the tank. I have this pressure gauge that can measure up to 16 bar.
I install this pressure gauge on the tank. But before that I have to cool the tank to stop the rotation. I will put this on the tank to see what kind of pressure is created in the tank. To cool the tank, I poured cold water on it and turned off the solar tracker. You can see how much water is poured below. In order to measure the pressure inside the tank when the water is boiling, I have to block both steam nozzles. Of course, I open the iron cap first. The tank is still hot and this is because of the hot water in the tank. I press the steam nozzles with the back of the cutting pliers until it is blocked. Well, now the steam outlet is closed, and we go to the pressure gauge. I wrap the connections of the pressure gauge with Teflon tape so that no heater comes out. This is how I have prepared it and will put it on the tank. Now the barometer is ready. It has been 10 minutes now that the tank has been in hot focus. And if you look carefully, the pressure is 6.5 bar. Of course, with the passage of time, this pressure will increase. But because I am not sure about the pressure tolerance of the tank, I will cool it after the movie. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video. In fact, this is an invention, because you will not see anywhere that such a thing has been done in the focus of the solar dish. And this is for the first time. If the equipment used was not very interesting because this was the first time I did something like this in your presence. I leave the completion of this method of solar turbine to those who have ingenuity and do the work. I hope there are people who can generate electricity from this method, and this requires calculation and testing and spending time. Until the next program, goodbye.